Okay, guys, the Daytona 500 is today, which means the start of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup season. There's been a lot of changes we've got to catch up on, so uh, who are some of the new drivers to look out for? Well, Alex Bowman has taken the place of Dale Earnhardt Jr. I hear the rookie has a particular set of skills. I saw that William Byron also joined Hendrick Motorsports. William Byron, it sounds more like a British politician than it does a NASCAR driver. This year's a little confusing because Eric Almarola goes from the 43 to the 10 car, while rookie Bubba Wallace goes to the 43 car with crew chief Drew Blinkensdurfer, which is a cool name. <laughs> sounds like a German power tool. I'll tell you what's confusing, man. In NASCAR, it's four left turns, huh? But when I drive, it's all right, all right, all right. Okay, um, are there any rule changes we should look out for? So this year, crews can't send six guys over the wall, only five. That could add two to three seconds for pit stops, yeah? It's pretty cool they named it after me, right? Pit stops. Stage racing is back again. Back in my theater days, stage racing was when we would sprint from one side of the stage to the other. Of course, we didn't do it for points. We did it for the love of stage racing. Well, I read that NASCAR is rolling out a new inspection process, so we may finally retire the cucumbered win. <laughs> I think you mean encumbered win? Well, either way, it's great on salad, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we talk about today's race? Does anyone have a pick for who will get the checkered flag at the start-finish line? Wait, so in NASCAR, the start line is also the finish line? Whoa. Yeah. Wow! I forget it! Can someone just toss this back to the guys in Daytona? I got this, Junior. Now back to three guys who should restrict their plates in the buffet line. Chris Myers, Daryl Waltrip, and Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Ta-ta.